What's up guys, my name is Kevin, and today I'm gonna to show you how I print TPU on a completely stock Creality Ender 3 V2 machine. Let's jump into Kira and I'll show you my settings. So it took me a while to get a pretty clean print right off of uh, right off the printer without having a lot of wisping or bad layer adhesion or whatever. Um, yeah, it took me a while uh, messing with all my settings, but you definitely can get good clean prints right off the stock Ender 3 V2 setup. See if I can get this to focus here. This is completely uh, pulled, just pulled off the um, off the bed. There's still a little bit of whisking, but a heat gun will take care of that, no problem. Uh, here's another piece. Uh, these are small pieces. I haven't printed this, uh, or I haven't scaled this up to print like huge, to print huge things yet. But um, yeah, for smaller parts, this works great. I imagine it would still work the exact same. Um, I'm using the pre-line filament from Amazon. Uh, yeah, pre-line 3D printer filament, TPU. Um, it's pretty decent. I don't know. I haven't tested a bunch, so I'm still a noob when it comes to 3D printing. But um, yeah, I'll show you my settings. Um, if you're not using this type of filament, if you're not using pre-line, you're using Sane Smart or Ninja Flex or something like that, um, you're going to want to print a temperature tower and uh, figure out exactly where your filament um, or what your filament, what temperature it likes best. But let's jump over into... Uh, Kira and I will show you my exact settings that I'm using for this. So again, these are small pieces, but um, the main things, and uh, I started off too by uh, a guy named Chep on YouTube. He's like uh, one of the wizards on uh, 3D printing. He's got a bunch of content on YouTube. Um, I started off with his uh, basic um, TPU profile and I just tweaked it a little bit. But um, yeah, I'll just go slow on screen here and talk about the important ones. So the layer height, this is basically the quality, the resolution of uh, your print. So if you make the number uh, larger, it's going to get um, bigger and uh, I'll explain it. It makes the, the lines basically bigger. The smaller, it's more fine. So the lower you can get this number, the better. But anyways, I'm running 0.2. Um, the line width is 0.3. The shell wall thickness is 1.2. Um, these are all pretty basic settings for the most part. You can pause the video and uh, copy them into yours. Um, the infill density, this is what you're going to want to change um, on small parts like I just showed you. 25% uh, or maybe even 20 is totally fine. That's like the thickness of it. Um, excuse me if I'm using the wrong terms or I say something incorrect. Uh, like I said, I am by no means uh, a professional printer. I'm still learning. But uh, anyways... Your infill density, if you were printing something like a GoPro mount and you want it to be a thicker quality, you'd bump this up to like 70. And then for smaller things, keep it lower at like 20, 25. Um, my temperature, uh, I've got it at 202. I think that's just a sweet spot. Um, it prints on the temperature tower uh, between 200 and 205 looked the best to me. Um, I just went with 202. That's what uh, I think I like the best. Uh, build plate temperature is 60 flow 100 uh, initial layer flow 100 as well and the print speed this is uh, where we start getting into the stuff that's more specific to tpu um, you got to print tpu extremely slow i'm still messing with the print speed i think i can turn it up a hair more i'm still going to try i'm going to try to get up to 20 but that's when i was starting to have um, a little i was noticing issues uh, this prints perfectly but it's uh it's pretty slow but print speed 15 uh, wall speed uh, 7.5 you could try bumping these up a hair if you want uh, and then retraction is the other part that uh, I had to fiddle with for quite a while so you want to enable retraction you want to change your retraction distance down to three um, I think on like PLA it's like six or eight maybe um, a lot of people have this a lot higher I lowered this I don't know if that's specific because it's a stock setup or it's a Bowden setup or what but this is what uh, enabled me to get rid of um, all the stringing and like, uh, it's not really stringing, but like you could tell where it went to jump and uh, it like left extra filament. I guess it's stringing. Uh, disable Z, uh, Z hop when retracted. So retraction distance three, retraction speed 25 too. You want to slow that down quite a bit so it doesn't jerk it as much. Um, I believe that's all combing mode, uh, not in the skin. And then uh, what else? Cooling, obviously. And then supports are, uh, you don't need supports unless um, you're using something that requires them, like a GoPro mount. Uh, that other print I showed you, I use supports, but something like this I have on the screen now, I would not use supports. But um, yeah, those are my settings. Uh, 
again i've copied these from other people and then tweaked them uh a little bit from there so big shout out to chep uh, he's definitely somebody you should watch and check out. Uh, again, I took his profile and just slowly tweaked it. I changed the temperature, uh, mainly the temperature, and then the retraction settings that I changed. Everything else um, is basically stock from that. I think maybe wall thickness. I can't remember if I changed the wall thickness or line count a little bit. But anyways, those are my TPU settings. Um, you can just copy these, pause the screen, and uh, copy them into your cure settings and then if you click on the star right here um, under your profile settings you can go uh, where's it at oh I guess I can't do it because I'm on here right now but manage profile settings and you can update your profile click this and save it over something and uh, or you can create a new profile and save this this is what I have that works best for TPU um, yeah thanks for checking out I hope you like it. If you have any questions at all, uh, let me know. And uh, yeah, have a good day. Hopefully that helps you get some good TPU prints. Peace.